hello or welcome back to my channel i am so excited that you are here and thank you again for your support especially those subscribers that have been with me for a long time i wanted to share something very special with you um this is a house that i inherited from my mother some of you may know my mother passed away in 2021 and um in the village she had multiple properties and uh, when she passed on she left her estate to her children and we are four girls and she happened to have four properties because really she was preparing for us and um so when my mother passed away my sisters and i we talked and discuss what we needed to do with my mother's properties because our goal is to honor our mother make sure that her hard work as you guys know she was a single mother her hard work did not go to waste uh, i asked my sister since i was already building my house in the village i asked them to choose which properties they want so they chose all the properties they want and um this house was left my mother never really lived in this house she's always used it as a first a daycare as a store and now i'm kind of at that point where i'm not exactly sure what i want to do with it but i decided to renovate it part of phase two um so uh i'm still not sure it's just a two bedroom house with a living room and a kitchen combination and so i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do with it but for now i'm just cleaning it up i did not plan to spend a lot of money in this house because it was really not in the budget this time but i wanted to just spruce it up so that you know like we can close it and have it ready for whatever i decide to do with it i still have a lot of work that is left for instance i have a bathroom that is left renovate the existing area and make a nice kitchen and so i don't know what to do maybe you guys can give me some advice okay so this is the house okay i think we should just get rid of that window we can leave that one or even make it bigger in the future but for now we'll just leave it like that and then we have to definitely replace the windows the door and the ceiling is in bad bad shape I don't know if I should just uh, cut it and replace it or I don't know what I should do here but here's the bedroom and so we need to do all this plastering work here but here's the bedroom so this is in great condition just needs to be plastered there and repainted and maybe the roof needs fixing because there's a lot of leaking here look last night it rained and then there's this here as well this room i guess this could be a future bathroom slash something okay uh and then this will be the kitchen area uh basically that's it and for now i think i'm just gonna clean up like have the guys resurface some of this uh here and then uh and then clean up the windows and i'm going to take all these shelves they're actually very good quality wood so i'm gonna take them and take them to the storage which will be perfect at least i'll, I'll be able to salvage something here because this is actually very good wood uh and then let's go outside quickly so outside i obviously need to finish some of this uh work here and paint fortunately all that looks good i just need to maybe redo some of the ceiling there really this should all be pvc ceiling that way it doesn't have to worry about water and i wanted to see what's out here so the house has a very uh it's a, it's a very tall which is nice nice foundation i don't know if that's a foundation crack or what I wonder what this was. Oh, this was for the tank. Oh, they have a water problem here. Oh, that's because they don't have a gutter. That's why. 
yeah so yeah the house is not in extreme bad condition just needs fixings here and there for now so we can have additional space so our goal here was just to spruce up the house as i said it wasn't in the budget to begin with but um i had to get someone to do the ceiling and i also did some cubing i put in new windows a door and i already had the window one window and, and one door so we bought a new door for that we did some plastering some flooring and um we did painting as well and we fixed some roof um leaks and um as i said we are not done um we also did do the stoop by the way since we already had a door and a window we bought 40 liters of primer 40 liters of top coat paint uh, for inside and outside um, and we bought 20 cages of crack filler uh, and painting materials some cement sand the cement was for plastering um, and uh, we also bought one window because we already had a window and a door that we were supposed to use in the guest house. So this is how it turned out. Let me know what you think. I know it is not perfect. I still have a lot of work to do. But this was the first time that I actually renovated in the village and I really loved it. I wish I could have a show where I renovate the village. That's what I would love to do because it was so nice to actually, you know, like take something that was so dilapidated and actually make it, you know, like beautiful. And again, thank you to my mom and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to encourage other people in the village to actually go back home and fix some of their stuff as well. Thank you so much.